We also don't treat the preliminary line test. There are two types of lab tests. One is called a line titer or an ELISA test, and that test is not specific. Many kinds of very common infections that people have had in the past or bacteria that they've been exposed to in the past can make that test turn positive even though it's not the kind of infection for Lyme disease. So if that screening test is positive, then the doctor needs to go ahead and order the more specific Lyme test. And only if that test is positive, called the Western blot, would we treat with antibiotics. Do you need a certain number of positives to say this? You do. There are certain criteria. So when we do that test, that Western blot test, there are two things that we learn. One is something called IgM, and that's the body's immune system's reaction for an early infection, something new. And for an IgM to be positive, there should be three of those bands, three of those proteins that show up as positive. And for the IgG bands, which show an infection that happened months ago, that one needs to have five bands that are positive in order to be a true positive test for Lyme disease.